really proud of you for going on this trip. You're gonna have so much fun. And remember, if something chases you, We have learned more in the past decade from genetics than a century of digging up bones. A whole new frontier has opened up. We have our first genetically modified hybrid. We just went and made a new dinosaur? Probably not a good idea. Almost 40 feet high. Really think she climbed out. Depends. On what? What kind of dinosaur they cooked up in that lab? Evacuate the island. She's a highly intelligent animal. She will kill anything that moves. Oh, God. You can categorize a film's soundtrack into two categories, diegetic sound and non-diegetic sound. Within those two categories, we have several different elements. These include music, narration, dialogue, sound effects, and ambient sound. These are all the parts that make a film's soundtrack. Before we look at these in more detail, we're going to define what the difference between diegetic and non-diegetic sound is. Diegetic is everything that's taking place in the scene and has a visible source. This doesn't mean that if a sound is not in the frame, it is not diegetic. It is sound that is coming from that film's world. For example. Non-diegetic sound is anything that is not from that world. Sound whose source is not obvious in the scene. Narrator's commentary, sound effects added for dramatic effect, or music are all examples of non-diegetic sound. So, starting with music, which falls under the non-diegetic sound category, this trailer has two distinct music tracks. The first is an epic, powerful, excitement-building track, and has been chosen to build the hype for a highly anticipated film. The second is a more chilling, suspenseful track, and has a slight nod to the original theme of Jurassic Park. Music in films sets a tone for the action that is taking place. Narration is next. Though there is no audible narration in this trailer, we can still see visual narration. Narration is used in film to give the audience more information or allow us to see things from the perspective of a certain character. Nearly all films have some form of dialogue in them. This is simply just characters speaking to one another. I'm really proud of you for going on this trip. You're going to have so much fun. Or in some cases, to themselves. Another key piece of the soundtrack puzzle are sound effects. These are often used to enhance the scene and make that scene as realistic as possible. As well as sound effects that take place within the scene, filmmakers also add sound effects stings for dramatic effect, like these. These are non-diegetic, and we know this because there is no distinguishable source. And finally, we have ambient sounds. This is everything else going on in the background. The sound of the forest, or the wind, or a crowd. 
It is the noise in between other noises. Without it, when there was a gap in dialogue, we would hear only silence, which is very noticeable in films. These are all the areas within soundtrack that we are going to be covering today. I hope you found that helpful and informative. Next time you're watching a movie or a trailer, see if you can pick out the different elements that form a soundtrack. Try to distinguish what is diegetic and non-diegetic sound. But most importantly, see if you can figure out the reason why the filmmaker has made that cinematic choice. Thanks for listening and happy watching.